Hello everyone, welcome back, here is Van Amsen and today we are going to solve uh, another uh, top 100 liked uh, problem on LeetCode, this time in Python, so let's dive into backtracking and permutation. Uh, so uh, let's look at the task. So we are given an array of distinct integer and we need to return all possible permutations. So we need to find all possible arrangement of a given list of numbers, right? So and the best part, we can return the answer in any order. So this problem might seem complicated uh, at first, but it's classical application of recursion and uh, backtracking, and we will dissect it step by step. So uh, we are started with uh, our function permute, which take a list of integer as input and is supposed to return a list of lists, uh, each of these being uh, possible permutation. So now uh, let's write our helper function uh, let's call it a backtrack taking two parameter num and path. So, uh, okay. So let's implement it. So define a backtrack function, take num and uh, path. Yeah. Path. Okay. And if uh, not nums, then result append uh, path. So we append path and return. And for i in range of len from of nums, backtrack num to the i and num i plus and path and result uh, will be our backtrack with initial values. Okay, and finally we return result. So uh, this is our implementation, so we can run it to verify everything's uh, work well. So given array 1 to 3, all permutations are 1 to 3, 3 to 1, and, and so on. So yeah, all working perfectly. So what we did. So in our helper function, the first thing we check is whether uh, there are any numbers left to permute. So if not, we are reach a valid permutation and we add it to our result. Now. Uh, comes the magic part. So we are going to run a loop for each num. And what's happening here uh, is that we are calling backtracking recursively for each number, adding into the path and removing it from num. So this is the crux of our backtracking algorithm. So finally, we need to call backtrack with our initial number and empty path. So we do this and yep, yeah, we are uh, finished with our results. So now that we have our full function ready uh, and it's working for basic test cases, we can run it for unseen test cases as well. That might be much more tricky. But uh, yeah, we're running it and our implementation beat 57% with respect to runtime and also 73 with respect to memory, so all good. And as you can see, it's correct returning all permutation for different sets of numbers. So that's it. Uh, backtracking can seem complex initially, but once you understand the idea, it's a powerful tool to solve a very variety of problems like this one. And if you found this uh, tutorial helpful, uh, do hit the like button, share and subscribe to my channel for more uh, such coding problems and tutorials. And feel free to drop any doubts or suggestion in the comment section below. Happy coding. See you next time.